All right, in today's video, I'm going to answer the question, can businesses steal clicks in Google Ads from other businesses? This is also known as click fraud, and I've gotten this question a few times from business owners. How do I know people aren't just going to go on and just keep spam clicking my ad and wasting all this money? And this is, that's a very fair question, and it really was an issue for Google back in the early 2000s uh, when Google Ads just started. Well, it wasn't even Google Ads at the time that time it was Google AdWords, uh, Google really didn't have any protection against it. But because Google knows advertisers spend a lot more money with them in the long run than it does just off of you know spam clicking a few ads and the advertiser gets mad and lead uh, and leaves, Google has taken a lot of precautions and entered a lot of uh, pro protocols into their system to prevent click fraud as much as possible. So just to go over what stealing a click from another business entails or click fraud, uh, it essentially means when a business goes in, uh, types in a high intent keyword in their industry. So let's say they're in the HVAC industry, they type in emergency furnace repair near me, and then they go on and they click on every single one of their competitors ads. And they just waste that money because that ad was displaying and they, the advertiser has to pay for that click now. And like I said, it used to be a real big problem because you could essentially just go in and spam click these ads and Google would just say, yep, that's a click, count it as a cost. But now Google has seen uh, that that's a real big issue and they understand and they've implemented a whole bunch of AI processes that essentially get rid of a lot. Like I'd say 98% of the click fraud. Is there always going to be like, you know, one or two clicks a month from maybe another business? Yeah, probably. Uh, but now you can't go on and just spam click a, uh, an ad. It's not going to happen. Google's going to see that. It's not going to actually count it as a cost and uh, it, it's going to get rid, it, it's just going to count you as spam or, you know, fraudulent click. So it's not going to charge the actual advertiser. And Google's very, very good at identifying that. And it also, every time it adds a new technique or protocol towards identifying click fraud, it also runs the data back. So uh, if it sees click fraud that it missed in the past, it will then go back and refund the advertiser that click. Uh, so Google is always improving and it's always getting better to identify click fraud. It also is very good at detecting the difference between a bot and a human. Uh, so it, it's gotten really, really good over the past few years. Uh, that being said, there's always going to be some click fraud because anyone could go on their cell phone and click on an ad. It's like, yeah, they might charge you for one click, but it's not going to be, you know, just a, a crazy amount of spam clips. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. Uh, it, Google's too smart for that. And, and their AI is definitely too smart for that. That being said, if you're still experiencing some click fraud, and chances are there are some industries that suffer from it, um, especially like super high-end uh, clicks where it's like 250 bucks a click, it's like now it makes more sense to try and get as many clicks off your competitors as possible because it's really going to cost. Uh, ways to work around this would be to block certain areas. So if you're in a, if you know your business district or there's an area in your city where most businesses reside. Chances are most people aren't going to be looking for your services from that business district. They're more in residential areas. Um, you can just go around, target a one kilometer radius or however big the area is, and just block all block your advertising from showing them. So no ads will pop up when people search from that area. And it's a great way to get rid of essentially all the businesses that would be looking for your services. That being said, if your business relies on other businesses and you're B2B, uh, you know, that's not going to work as well. But if you're B2C, which is business to consumer, it works really, really well. Uh, another way is blocking certain IP addresses. So maybe you don't want to block the area, but you know, in from your Google Analytics, and this is a little bit more technical, um, you go into your Google Analytics, you see a an IP address that just keeps popping up over and over and over again, and they're wasting you know money. You're not seeing any conversions from it. You can go into Google Ads and essentially block an IP address. Uh, you go into your campaign, you hit settings, just scroll down all the way to the bottom here. Uh, you hit IP exclusions. You type in your IP address that you want to ban, and your ad will no longer show up for that IP address. And that's a really good way of essentially banning ads from showing in certain businesses uh, because they would all share one. Generally, they all share one internet provider and they all run off the same IP address. So I would just ban it from showing for that IP address, which is really, really uh, useful to use, especially if you have Google Analytics integrated and you know a certain IP address is just not good. Uh, finally, you could always use a software. So there's a whole bunch of companies out here. I'm just going to give the example of ClickSees. Uh, since I've seen their advertisements everywhere, I thought I'd give them a shout out because <laughs> they're, they're trying really hard. So uh, essentially what they do is they interact with your Google Ads account. They can 
they're probably better at spotting fraudulent clicks than most people and they get in contact with um, Google and they're very, very good at trying to get refunds back for you from fraud, fraudulent click, clicks inside of Google ads uh, in your you know, campaign. So that's another alternative you could also use. Do I think it's necessary? No, not really. I think Google ads has really gotten to the point where you know, click fraud isn't a big issue. Is it still there? Yeah, it's still there. But if you're in an industry where it's like, you know, four or five dollars a click, even 20 bucks a click, you know, one or two a month isn't generally going to break you if, if they are fraudulent clicks. Yeah, it's always going to happen because someone could just Google it from their phone and uh, use a different IP address. It could be in a different area and, you know, the fraudulent click will still go through. But, you know, they can't just keep clicking it. It's not going to happen. Google is very, very good at figuring out uh, who's real, who's fake. And uh, yeah, so. Can businesses, to answer the question, can businesses still steal clicks inside Google Ads from other businesses? Yeah, they can, but not nearly to the extent that you should really be worrying about it. Um, hopefully that answers the question. Uh, if you still are experiencing click fraud and that's a big issue from you, try blocking certain areas, try blocking certain IPs and use the software. That should really get rid of your problem. I, I've never seen a, a circumstance where we've implemented all of those and that didn't solve the problem. Um, generally, that's a, that's an absolutely fantastic way of you know just you know making sure nothing bad happens whatsoever. There and and uh, like it's not going to get rid of everything, but it'll get rid of ninety nine point nine percent of it. So yeah, uh, if you have any more comments, leave them down in the description below. I'd be happy to answer any more questions. Other than that, you guys have a fantastic day and take care.